this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video in the Stampy Flat Challenge. That doesn't have a good ring to it, does it? I think it's taken me like 20 episodes to realise that it doesn't sound good. I don't know, like I like the name Stampy Flat Challenge, because you know, it sounds a bit like Stampy Cat Challenge, and you know, this is a Stampy world, I'm Stampy, the world's flat, like it all makes sense, but Welcome to a Stampy Flat Challenge. I don't know, it's just it's just quite difficult to say, I think. It doesn't roll off the, the tongue, you know, like, lovely world. You know, that, that just sounds right, doesn't it? But Stampy Flat Challenge. I mean, I'm not changing it. Like, we're 20 episodes deep, but it just... Ah, I don't know, I just realised as I was saying it then that it just doesn't sound as good as it could. But anyway, <laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> That's not why we're here. Uh, we're here, well, for three reasons. We, we were here to reach the bottom of the world. We did that. We were here to defeat the Ender Dragon, as you can see. That that was done. Uh, now the, the third and final challenge uh, is to um, uh, defeat the Wither. And so the big thing uh, for today is to try and get the uh, the final uh, Wither Skeleton Skull uh, that I need. And so uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, another golden apple. I'm going to head down and I'm going to go and battle and battle and battle and woohoo, uh, hopefully uh, get what I need. So uh, I've got like 71 levels now. So I don't need to be... Um, I don't need to be as careful with uh, with enchanting things as I did uh, before, uh, seen as, you know, I as I said, I have 71 levels now. You know, just from defeating the, the Ender Dragon, you know it drops loads. Let's enchant my pickaxe, and oh look, fortune and efficiency. I think this is good. I think, is this going to allow me to get loads more gold now? I mean, the efficiency is going to be like help anyway, because uh, I'm going to be able to mine quicker. And because I got fortune, is that going to allow me to get more? I don't know if that works or not. I think it might only be, but like if you're gathering like coal or like redstone or diamonds and stuff. I don't know whether if you're getting like a block of ore, whether it actually helps out, but... There's only one way to, to find out. I feel like I've learnt quite a lot in this series. I feel like I've learnt a surprising amount of things that I didn't originally know about in Minecraft. Which is funny, because I've been playing it for quite a long time. So let's see, do I get any more? No, I don't think that, uh, I don't think I get any more of them, but... I do get them quicker, and uh, that is, uh, I guess, uh, what uh, what really, um, uh, yeah, what really matters. So let's not go down any of those tunnels, just because I've kind of already ah, uh, dug out to, to get the go. Let's go in a different direction, and uh, let's be exciting for a change, and let's go and uh, dig in this direction. Uh, why not? So then this way I can go and get the, the gold and the redstone, and then I'm just going to dig this way for a little bit, and then on my way back, I'm just going to go and grab a bit more of the gold. So, I don't know, it'd be nice to make one of the, um, one of the, uh, look, there's a skeleton down here, hello. You've got good aim. Get one, one more attempt. It bounced off my face. What was that? Did you see that? It just bounced off my face. <laughs> this has got to be the worst skeleton. His aim is awful. And when he does actually aim well, he's just so weak, it just doesn't even hurt me. That was crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it'd be good if I could make one of the, uh, the enchanted golden apples. I don't know if I'm going to get enough gold. Uh, just because it gives me the fire protection, if not, I can just go and make uh, a bunch of the uh, the normal golden apples anyway. But just going into the nether is just so tough. It's just so difficult in the nether. It's just, just having a super flat nether is a difficult place to, to be. Uh, so luckily, uh, getting the uh, getting the gold is way quicker now because I get the, the redstone quicker. I'm probably going to end up with a ridiculous amount of redstone now <laughs> just because I got the, the fortune. So look, I've got like... I got like almost, well, I got like two and a half stacks pretty much already of the redstone just because like, look how much comes out. Look how much comes out every time I break one. I get like way more than I normally do. And uh, that's because of the uh, the fortune. But yeah, it's the uh, it's the efficiency that really matters because uh, that's uh, allowing me to, to cover up uh, everything just way quicker. So this should be uh, good going in this direction. And so now I can kind of just do these uh, these side bits and uh, only worry about getting the, the gold uh, and then not worrying about getting the, the redstone. Uh, just because it's quicker. Uh, just because it's uh, way quicker uh, than having to, to break through both of them. So I'm going to leave this... Um, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave this in the furnace. See, there's a lot. I've got a few golden apples on me anyway. So I'm going to try and be brave. And just There's another one. There's another skeleton right there. Do you see him? He just ran past me. Let's just ignore him. Let's, uh, let's just assume he's as rubbish as the other one. So yeah, I'm then just going to charge in with the, uh, the golden apples I have. Hopefully just be fine. <laughs> and then, yeah, once I've kind of run out of, uh, of them, uh, then I can uh, come back and grab all of the stuff. I just don't want, don't want to sit around watching a furnace. And I'm pretty sure you don't want to sit around watching me watching a furnace either. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to be brave. And I'm just, just going to go and charge in. I only need one more. Like, for all I know, I'm going to go in there, I'm going to kill one wither skeleton, and I'm going to get it. You know, that, 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 that's what I'm hoping for. And that is something that could happen. I have a feeling it won't happen, but that is, that's an option. You know, there's nothing, you know, there's nothing written in the clouds to say uh, that that is, uh, is not going to, to happen. It just seems pretty unlikely. And oh, apples. 
I need apples, don't I? If I'm going to make golden apples, you can't make golden apples without apples. Otherwise, you just got gold, <laughs> I guess. So let's go and, uh, before I leave the, um... Uh, anything smelting and uh, let's go and just cut down these trees uh, so all of the the leaves are going to, to be disappearing and uh, then I can get some more apples because I remember at first thinking that like once I get to the um the wood level that like the trees won't matter very much uh, but they do just simply for uh, the uh, the golden apples so that is uh, why uh, they're, they're actually uh, they're actually pretty important here because those golden apples uh, have definitely helped me out I remember in my my battle against the the ender dragon if I didn't have those golden apples uh, then yeah I don't know I don't know if I would have survived I might have died in immediately as, a, as I went in there. So let's ignore the big tree because I don't care about that. Uh, let's just go and cut that down. Uh, so yeah, they're going to be there gradually dropping their apples. Uh, I also... I uh, want to make a, a flint and steel uh, only because um, uh, if the, uh, the the portal gets shot by a ghast, I want to be able to like immediately relight it again uh, so I can come back through. Actually, do I have a flint and steel? I do not, but I should have some, woohoo, uh, some gravel somewhere around here. Not some gravel, some uh, some flint, sorry. Yeah, there we go. Uh, here's some flint uh, so I can go and make myself some, uh, some flint and steel. Should be around here somewhere. Is it near the shears? Yep, there we go. Uh, so yeah, I can relight it uh, if, uh, if I need to and that's uh, so uh, woo uh, go and uh, <laughs> uh, get rid of some of this uh, this redstone as well my many stacks of redstones I don't need that look how much gold I got that pickaxe is amazing it's so good I know it's like half destroyed anyway uh, just because I couldn't be bothered to, to get some more diamonds to make a new one and oh I got plenty of uh, more steak here as well that's from when I was uh, grabbing all of the uh, the leather from the the cows I ended up with a load of steak as well so let's go and uh, let's uh, store that just safely uh, in here uh, in case uh, I run out of the the steak uh, I have and so that's all smelting away I've got the uh, the gold and apples that uh, that I need. Uh, Woohoo! Uh, so I should have uh, pretty much everything that I need. I have plenty of arrows. I got 18 arrows. That should be fine. I don't want to use too many arrows because uh, I am trying to, to save them. Uh, for when I'm actually against the wither, which is going to be the main challenge. And uh, let me just go and see if there's any apples over here, or at least uh, uh, some saplings for me to plant. I want to, I want at least one apple. There we go. I got myself an extra apple, and whoa, there's another apple over here as well. Look at all these saplings all over the place. This is fantastic. So I can go and uh, plant all of these, and then leave them, uh, them already uh, growing again. That's weird. That's like a crazy amount of saplings really quick, isn't it? They don't normally drop that fast. Oh well, I am not complaining. No more apples. Nope. Uh, there might be one when I get back, but I don't care too much. At least I got a few spare uh, so I'm gonna at least have one uh, to make the uh, the enchanted golden apple a little bit later on so let's see how this goes let's see how this goes with all of my armor and stuff uh, running in appleless like I would always much prefer uh, to have one um, uh, to have one with me but I think I should hopefully be okay and oh no they shot already oh no this is bad well, that, that's not a very nice start <laughs> normally they ease you into things at least a little bit I got attacked and shot at as soon as I went in right let's go and uh, let's back away from the portal for a bit because I don't want the, the portal to get uh, shot because if you remember Remember, uh, that was the uh, uh, the big traumatic episode where I thought I was going to be stuck in the, the never forever with no food. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I've got plenty of food. I got the, the flint and steel, uh, so I should be able to, to relight the, the portal if something does happen to it. Uh, but for now... Uh, let's go and uh, let's go and try and get ourselves some wither skeletons, shall we? Oh, that was good. Look, I knocked it back. I'm normally really bad at knocking it back, but that was quite good. Let's just try and take this guy out. And ah, look, this bow's so good, I can take them out in one shot. Uh, it's actually probably worth maybe trying to uh, to take some of them out. Them, I kind of like hadn't bothered in the the past, but look at that. If I can do it in one shot, it might be kind of worth it because the gas are really like. They're really the only thing that cause a problem, to be honest. Like, the wither, um, whoa! Oh, look at that! Look at that reaction time! I just switched and blocked it. Yeah, the wither skeletons themselves, they're bad because they kind of wither you. But, like, by themselves, they're really not that bad. It's only really dangerous, uh, kind of when there's, um, a uh, gas shooting you uh, at the, uh, the same time. So if I can kind of, like, thin out the numbers of the gas, it might work. Then again, they spawn so fast, I don't even know if there's even a point. Because, look, I kill one, and then I turn around and there's another one right there. So, yeah, maybe it's just not even really worth it. <laughs> right then, where, where are all the wither skeletons then? Is it like... Are they on vacation? Have all the wither skeletons had a day off from standing around in the nether today? Come on, normally I'd have found one by now. Like, I've pretty much circled, like, almost the entire nether by now. Lots of pigmen. Lots of pigmen. I just don't want to deal with them at all. Are there any over there? No, they're just some pigmen in the, the distance. I've only seen one normal skeleton and, uh, and no wither skeletons. So, uh, let's kind of do uh, another loop and hopefully we can find them. So, I still have a chance... To, to have come true 
what I mentioned, where I run in, kill one wither skeleton, and get it straight away. Like, that's the dream, isn't it? I still haven't killed one yet, so I guess still, technically, uh, there is a chance for that to happen. And just look at this. Oh, there we go. I can see some. Can you see some? I can see some dark silhouettes in the uh, the corner over here. That's that's what I'm after. There's three of them. Right. I'm going to kill one, and it's going to drop a uh, what I need, uh, the wither skeleton skull, uh, and then I'm going to be fine. So let's just go and charge in here. I got them, uh, them weak now. I can just go and finish them off. And, oh, no, it didn't happen. <laughs> that would have been amazing, though. I always love I always love setting up these situations that would be amazing and like even though like most of the time it doesn't happen uh, like just in the one time it does happen it's so good I think it's kind of like worth all the other failures it's like what um like what I did when I was like mining and I'd be like right 10 more blocks and after 10 blocks I might find something and I never did but if I did, it would have just about been the best thing ever. So I always <laughs> I always think it's worth that. So sadly, I didn't get one first try. And look, I remember the first time I came down here in the Never, there were these, uh, the, the Wither Skeletons. They were everywhere. And now, there's hardly any of them. Do you think... Okay, I have a theory. Do you think the fire is stopping them from spawning as much. Because, and I only say this because I don't know what they need to spawn, and maybe if it's too bright, maybe they don't spawn. That might be it. That might, might might be why they're not spawning as much. Right, so the problem is I'm going around trying to put up this fire, and as I'm doing it, I'm getting shot by gas, which is kind of lighting even more fire. But I might as well do something. I don't know, there's a little gas tier down here. Oh, look, there's two. Are they gas tiers? Oh, no, there's some gunpowder and then a gas tier. Yeah, so what I think I should do... Uh, just as much as I can, uh, just to just to knock out the fire as I go around. I might as well. Like as I said, like it's all getting kind of lit up uh, as I go as well. Uh, but I think if this is going to increase the the chances uh, of things spawning, it's it's kind of better than nothing. It's better than nothing because you can't pour water down in the Never, can you? And uh, the only like other thing I could do is to kind of like build like a big ceiling over this area just to keep the gas away. But that's like. That's a lot of effort, isn't it? To build a big ceiling over the area. That's a lot of effort. And here we go. Look how dark this area is here. So if I kind of like run away from this area a bit and then run back, maybe I can see if they spawn. I think that does make sense because it's just like skeletons, isn't it? Like the wither skeletons, they're basically just skeletons that just have a chance to be wither skeletons. So it would actually really make sense uh, that it needs to be dark. Because, of course, for, for normal skeletons, uh, it needs to, to be dark as well. Right then, I think that's been the problem. So what I'm going to do is I'll go with Actually, I can see one in the, the distance over here. I might as well go for this one. And look, they are standing nowhere near the fire. They're standing where it's slightly dark. Okay, I think, I think I've worked out what my problem's been. Uh, so, yeah, I just need to try and put out as much fire as I can. And look, this is like the only patch in this area uh, where it wasn't like lit up by fire. And that is exactly uh, where it was uh, standing. And oh, I need to eat, but I can't. I've got to stay moving at the same time because of these gas. Right then, so that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to go around and, like, just be constantly putting out the, the fire as I go, and then hopefully they're going to, like, spawn behind me, I guess, because uh, if you're too close to them, uh, they won't spawn, so they can't, like, spawn immediately, but I just need to try and uh, thin out uh, as much uh, of this fire as I can, because basically, like, the longer I spend in the, the nether, like, kind of like the the less chance I have of finding them, basically, because, you know, like, the, the more the gas are shooting me, and so just basically the more the place gets lit up. So I am also going to have to try and focus a little bit more on the, taking out the gas, if I can ever even hit them. Ah, here we go, look, there's a dark corner uh, around here. So maybe if I, like, if I have, like, these dark areas, if I kind of just avoid standing in them, uh, then that way, basically, like, you know, it's not going to get shot and it's going to, like, stay dark. So if I just don't go, like, into, like, the back of that corner there, and then hopefully that entire area uh, is going to, to stay dark. And that's just going to be, like, a, a nice place uh, for the uh, the wither skeletons to, to spawn. Because really, like, I'm not, I'm not finding any. I've killed, like, what, like, four? I've killed, like, four since I've been in here. I've been in here for, like, I don't know, probably almost ten minutes now. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really good at keeping track of time. It feels like about ten minutes that I've been in here for. So if I could put down water then that would make a big difference. Or like, I don't know, is there any is there any other quick way to put out fire other than punching it? Like, it just feels like a really, like, slow way of taking out fire by just hitting it with a sword. But <laughs> it's doing the job. It's doing the job. I don't know if I'm actually putting out the, the fire quicker than it gets put down. But, like, at least if nothing else, I'm, like, I'm slowing it down. And once again, look, there's a dark area here. And that is exactly uh, where the uh, the wither skeleton was standing. I think I've definitely uh, worked out uh, what the uh, the problem is. It seems weird that they, they spawn in the, the never, but they don't like fire. Now, oh, ow, that's what's hurting me. I want to be careful because if it drops one, no, 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 don't drop one, don't drop one in the fire. Don't drop one in the fire. If you drop one in the fire, I'm going to cry. This is, 
This is getting dangerous. How many are there shooting at me? Look at them all. <laughs> There's just a barrage of fire coming at me. No, actually, I'm weak. I'm weak. I need a golden apple. I need a golden apple. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to lose all these levels. I don't want to lose all these levels. Let's have a golden apple and let's keep moving. That was dangerous. That was all like two hearts I had then. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still not safe yet. I'm still not safe yet. Let's eat those golden apples. There we go. That's got my, my regeneration going. And let's get the, uh, the hunger. Uh, back up as well. So I think this place I can just give up on. I think it's just too bright here. I think there's no chance any of them are going to spawn. Uh, so let's just kind of uh, not worry uh, about this area here near where the um uh, near where the portal is, and uh, let's try and- oh, hello god, did you just spawn right there? Really? Right in front of me? Oh, look at those reactions! To switch back and knock it back. Oh, actually, I hid that one, but I didn't kill it. I don't think I- I don't think I pulled the arrow far back enough. So yeah, that area by the, uh, the portal, I think is just- is just too lit up at this point. I think that, like, the time it would take me to, to try and put the fire out, like, I'd get shot so much that, like, it would all get lit again. So, uh, what I really want to do this, I'm going to loop back around now, uh, basically to all of the places where I put out before. Uh, so, like, kind of these kind of corners, basically. Uh, they're now much darker than they were, and uh, hopefully uh, we got a good chance uh, on finding some of them around here. Because I remember, literally, the first time I came down here, they were kind of all over the place. It was like, you know, they were just spawning like the pigmen were, basically, and everything else. Uh, they were kind of everywhere, so... So I kind of want to get back to that. And what I probably need to try and do then is just hit back these fireballs. Because uh, these are kind of just spreading the fire everywhere. Like, I think they're literally putting fire down uh, quicker than I can uh, get rid of it. So maybe, like, trying to knock back the fireballs when I can. And, like, to try and keep moving as much as I can. Because they kind of shoot you when you uh, you stand still for a second. And look at that! I put out a bit of fire. And then I turn around and there's, like, twice as much fire <laughs> as I was there before. Because this could really start to get uh, a little bit out of uh, out of control, really. Really, because, you know, if the entire place gets lit up too much, you know, it could get to a point uh, where I literally don't get any of them. Uh, I literally can't find any of them, and I don't want that to happen. So let's just try and find a place a little bit away from the, the gas uh, around here, maybe. And I'm kind of heading back to the uh, the dark corner that I made dark before. And I did a good job of, uh, of kind of making all of this place dark. There doesn't seem to be any gas near me. Right, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Let's go and put up as much fire of this can out. Uh, just so, uh, just seeing as there's no gas here, uh, just to make this area as dark as we can. So as I said, like, they're not going to spawn in immediately. Uh, basically just because I'm too close to, to you. Basically, if you're too close to the googlies, uh, they uh, they don't spawn because like the game never wants you to to kind of see things spawning in. And oh no, the gas every time. Where is he? All right, let's just try. Oh no, there's two of them. All right, let's just try and get away from the area I was just in. And uh, let's try and shoot these guys. Oh, I ran out of arrows. I ran out of arrows. Okay, this isn't good anymore. I can't uh, really take them out uh, unless I unless I knock back their fireballs. I did a good job there though. I did a good job uh, of making that area uh, way darker uh, than it was when uh, when I first went down. And so this is the this is my dark corner. This this is the area which I made pretty much pitch black, and of course, there is absolutely nothing spawned in here. Why aren't there any- isn't there anything spawned in there? That place is like pitch black. <laughs> uh, oh no no, now it's not, now it's getting- oh no, I gotta go and put these out- oh no, this is my dark corner! Gas, you're ruining my dark corner, how dare you! <laughs> oh well, nothing spawned in there anyway. Right then, so- I don't, I don't know what to do now. Oh look, there's one over there. So what I'm thinking of doing, and I, I don't want to do this, but I think I might have to. I might have to like, like, I don't know, should I speed up the video? To like where I've kind of put most of this fire out because I don't know how long this is gonna go on for like I feel if I went really hardcore and just tried to like destroy all of the fire I feel like it, I could get it into a pretty good place as to where most of it's uh, uh where most of it's put out um and then I just think I'd be able to to get a, a lot more of the, the wither skeletons, because the problem was, like, when I first came down here, like, I didn't realise that. Well, I, I kind of did realise it, like, if I thought about it, but I, I didn't think about the fact uh, that it would have to, to be dark. And so what I really don't want to do, I don't want to, like, I don't want to find the wither skeleton skull out of video, because I kind of want to... I kind of want to experience that moment with you, I guess. I kind of want that to be like a, a joint thing where together we're able to, to find the, the Wither Skeleton Skull. Like, I don't want to go like, I don't want to start the next episode and say, Hey guys, I found it. Aren't I amazing? You know, I want, I want that to be a shared celebratory moment between the two of us or between us and however many people are watching this uh, as well. <laughs> and so what I think, I, what I think I might do then, what I think the best thing to do is, 
So in between this episode and the next episode, I'm going to basically carry on doing what I'm doing now. And obviously there's a couple here. If I can just find one now, then I can just forget what I'm saying and just say, right, I've got it. No worries. Come on, please. Just drop one. Just drop one, please. Please just drop one. I can't believe, I can't believe how easily I found the first one and then how difficult uh, they're becoming. There is a, no, actually, there are quite a few around this area. The problem is, is like, as I'm battling them, there's like, um... There's just gas just firing everywhere and just completely lighting up uh, this area that was dark. Let me just go and, uh, and kill this one and then I will carry on saying what I was saying. I realized I kind of just <laughs> stopped mid-sentence then because I got distracted. Yeah, so what I was saying. So between this episode and the next episode, I'll try and get rid of as much fire as, as I can. And so then in the next episode, I'm going to go uh, with a skeleton battling again. Uh, I can also use all of the gold I made to make a, a golden apple. Uh, so I don't really need to, to worry about getting hurt uh, quite as much. And so then that way, if like, there's loads spawning, uh, I think that I just I just have a much better chance of getting one. Because, you know, the more there are, you know, the more I can take out, the more chance uh, there is of me getting one. And then that way... I reckon we have a much better chance of getting one uh, than we did uh, in this episode here. So for now, let me go and try and get home safely. I want to eat a bit of cake. I haven't eaten any cake today, so I want to go and at least do that. And just look at this area here. <laughs> it's such a mess. It's such a messy place, isn't it, now than ever? Right, please don't shoot out the portal. Please don't shoot out the portal. Please don't you do it. I know you're trying to do it. Don't you do it, Gas. And we are back home. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, I'm never going to get used to that. I'm never going to get used to spending time in there. <laughs> uh, then are there any uh, any apples waiting for me over here, perchance? If there's any apples down here lying on the floor, that would be lovely. And oh, look, we, all the leaves haven't been, like, destroyed. Does, like, time stop? Does, like, time stop when I go in the nether? Hmm, I'm not entirely sure about that. But yeah, uh, that is the, the end of this episode here. So in the next episode, we're going to be going back in the, the never. Uh, but hopefully, I would have taken out... Uh, I won't be able to take out all of the fire, but I should have at least been able to, to put out most of it. Uh, and then uh, there's going to, to be uh, a lot more uh, of the uh, the wither skeletons. And hopefully, we can get kind of the... Basically, the final piece in the puzzle. Like, out of everything, uh, like, it's kind of the last thing that I, that I need is, like, that one last uh, wither skeleton skull. And then I'm done. Because then, then I'm ready to, to battle the wither, and then it's kind of all just down to that fight, really. So we are we are definitely getting to the end game here. And let's go and grab a, a few more of these uh, these arrows. Uh, I was kind of hoping there's going to be a few more than this. I guess I haven't been in the area much, as the things haven't been spawning. I know I need the cake. Oh, I don't even have a cake. Oh, I do have a cake. Did the... Did that cake disappear or reappear? I think I just had an angle where like I couldn't see the cake for a second. Anyway, I need to eat it. I need, I need to get hungry. Uh, okay, this is my this is my standard way to, to get hungry. If I need to get hungry, I just like sprint into like a door frame and I just go jump, 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 jump. And look at that! Look how quickly my hunger goes down just from sprinting and jumping. And then I can go and I can turn around and go. Nom 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 nom. Delicious. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. So sadly, that is the end of this episode here. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!